Come here, little rat. Where did you go? I can hear you running around. You can't hide from me. I know my way around this barge better than you do. Look, it's not what it seems. Nothing happened. Oh yeah, nothing happened. Whatever. I want you off this barge immediately. Hang on a sec. Let me just go and get my stuff. No, you're not getting your stuff. Get off. Meet our traveller, Dan Agabelotom, or just Argsy for short. He's been all over the place taking work wherever he can find it, but never settling in one spot for long. Mining in Wyoming, driving combines from West Australia up to Saskatchewan, feeding cows in British Columbia, felling trees in the Pacific Northwest and well, until five minutes ago working barges on the Mississippi. He's resourceful and always been able to make ends meet, but has never been able to settle in one spot. He's had girls in different towns, but never made one stick. Now, he finds himself on the banks of the Mississippi, soaking wet with nothing to his name but his GoPro, his wallet, and the last few weeks' wages. Perhaps this could be time for his fortunes to change. Got to admit, I'm pretty pleased to see the back of that captain. He's had it in for me since day one. First day I stepped on that barge, he did not like me, and uh, well, I guess it's come to this. Here I am, banks of the Mississippi River, Wisconsin, I believe. We've been up and down this uh, river so many times. I've always wondered what this place is like, and uh, thought about stopping before. There's some nice farmland over the other side of the valley, but uh, we're on this side. This is Wisconsin. I've got my wallet. I've got my GoPro here, so we can. Uh, chat to you and we've got a few thousand dollars in our bank account from our wages uh, we were up to date with those so well except for the last few days i don't think we're going to get a dime out of that guy he was pretty tight as it was so i don't think we're going to get any more i've got myself in my pocket but uh that didn't survive the swim very well at all so we're going to have to go into town or go into wherever we are and find a new cell phone but where are we we're just uh train tracks here better take care crossing those gonna pop on over here we'll head on to town I think if we uh, walk on up this way if my memory serves me correct from the number of times we've been up and down this valley we should be able to go and find a little bit of a town village settlement whatever you want to call it up in this way it says we're going the wrong way I think that's just for uh, vehicles though I think we're going all right we should go on the other side I wonder if we could hitch a ride into town and that no, we'll just keep on heading down this way I must admit I wasn't too, dis too disappointed to be kicked off the barge. Uh, I'm a land lover. I enjoy getting in and using machinery, driving tractors. I've had a great time touring the world, seeing different sites and running different machinery all over the world. We've driven combines, we've tried logging, we've hauled equipment, we've driven trucks and all sorts of things all around the place. And uh, I've loved every minute of it. But here we are, we are, well, we're starting out new. Feed and Seed. Miller's Feed and Seed over there. I wonder if they might be looking for any employees. Might have to go and check that out. Let's head on down in here anyhow into town. I don't think it's too much further if my memory serves me correct. So we'll just pop in here and uh, we'll see what there is around. What's this up here? Looks like we've got someone with a flat tire. We might, uh, might have to see if we can give them a hand. They might be struggling. Let's go and see if they need some help. Do a little bit of a good deed for our first uh, first day here. In, well, whichever part of Wisconsin it is. Uh, excuse me, do you need help? Oh, sorry, you startled me. Yes, please. I can't seem to get these wheel nuts loose. Posh, you're wet. What happened? Um, I've just been for a little swim. I might have been fired from my job on a barge, effective immediately. What did you do to deserve that? Well, let's just say he wasn't too happy where he found me, and leave it at that. Fair enough. Guessing you're not from round here with an accent like that. No, but it's not the first time I've found myself in a spot of trouble. I'm sure I'll find a way out. Anyway, there you go. That's the tyre changed. Best you go and get that flat one fixed. Looks pretty bald, so may need to be replaced. Well, thank you very much for your help. 
No worries. Can you point me in the direction of town? Oh, of course. Just head on down that way. You're not too far away. Thank you. Very nice meeting you. Well, she seemed nice. Let's hope that's a reflection of the people around here. Looks like we're just about coming into town. We'll keep on heading down this way. Need to try and sort out some clothes and a new phone. Then maybe we'll bother looking for a job. We've got a Dollar General over there. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to go over there and find something new to wear. And uh, then we'll go and see if we can find somewhere to buy a phone. They might even have something there. So we'll head on over and go and see what we can find. Well, that feels better. New jeans, new t-shirt, new hat. Feeling much more comfortable now to get out of those wet clothes. And we even managed to pick ourselves up a cheap cell phone. Sim card worked out of our other one, so we're all good and mobile again. We can uh, keep an eye on things, get in touch with anyone we might need to. Now, I did ask them about any jobs. Suggested heading down here past the hotel. There was a job board up in the window at the bank. They uh, often have businesses which are allowed to advertise for jobs in there. There's a few food outlets down this way. Head on down this way. Turn right at the traffic lights. If you've made it to the Golden Arches, which we can see there, they have gone too far. So we'll just uh, keep on walking down this way. There is the hotel, home of the Wisconsin Badgers. We'll have to uh, see, they might become our new favourite football team. But here we are, I can see the strip mall over there. We'll just head on over and go and see what they have to offer. Looks like a sandwich mine here on the end. What's that next one? Frosty Delights? Bit of a dessert place. I wonder what they serve up at the next one. Oh, tanning salon. I don't think there's anything there we're going to enjoy. Garden centre, noisy place in here. And there's the bank. Alright, let's go and have a look. Arcade down past there. Something else tucked in. Let's go and have a look in the window on the bank and see what there is. Well, there's a few options there. Babysitting and gutter cleaning probably aren't my thing. Muck spreading for the Sugar Honey Iced Tea Company. I see what that's a very clever play on words if ever I've seen it. Oh, this one looks interesting. Manning's Transport. Looking for local delivery drivers with opportunities for progression in the company to interstate line haul. Well, that sounds like a bit of me. I've just gone through and got my driver's license too, so we are all good to drive some trucks. Manning's Transport, they say they're further down the road. Keep on heading down that way. Looking at the Google map on our phone, we should be able to find it if we carry on down there. Let's go and have a look, see if we can find these guys. Nice little spot so far. Very busy, lots of noise, lots of people around. It's good. If we're going to stay here, we're going to have to sort out some transportation too, so a vehicle is going to be a must, but we'll worry about that. We uh, might not be able to get a job, and we're definitely going to need to do that if we ever have any dreams of buying a new truck, or I guess it won't be a new truck, it'll be an old truck. But let's carry on. I do need to get something, but we'll worry about that a little bit later. Main focus is going to find some employment. Let's keep on going. We'll head on down there. Of course, there is a whole other area, a whole other town on the other side. I think that's Iowa over there. So we'll see, maybe we can carry on down here, we'll go and see if we can find something to do. Well I've been walking for a wee while now, it's taken quite some time to get down here but I've just checked on my phone and Manning Transport should be just up here on the right, in fact probably that's them coming to sight up there. The building we can see, so we'll get up here a little bit closer and go in and see what opportunities they might have for us. Uh, hopefully we can get a job doing some driving. Like I said, I do have my truck license. Uh, we picked that up when we were in Australia. We went to our truck driving world and managed to get some uh, qualifications there, which was very handy. But uh, certainly does look like Manning's Transport, which is good. I can make out a bit of a logo there on the side. So we'll head on in here. Not sure what sort of uh, work they do. It's not that big a yard. Looks like a excavator there. Volvo excavator parked up. Can't see too much else. Let's have a look. Oh, there's a few trucks in there. A couple of bigger rigs. See the uh, nose of something around there. Smaller truck. It looks like they've got a low loader there. Hauling, uh, probably for hauling the excavator I imagine. Not too sure what else. I can see a couple more trucks parked in there through the uh, through the window as well. So we'll come around here. It looks like I can see a couple of vehicles parked up out the front. This is probably the main entrance. So we'll go and uh, knock on the door and see if we can introduce ourselves to someone and uh, find ourselves some work because I wouldn't mind driving a truck. Going line haul, we could uh, go interstate, that'd be quite fun. Look at this old box truck. They did say local delivery drivers, so I wonder if we're uh, going to be stuck driving something like that if we do manage to get a job, but I won't complain. Work is work, isn't it? So let's head on in and uh, see who we can meet. What is it? 
So the ad looking for local delivery drivers. Well, I'm your man. Yeah? What made you say that? Well, I've got experience working on farms. I've driven lots of different equipment, know about logistics. Even been to truck driving school when I was working in Australia. Oh yeah? Lots of jobs out there. Why don't you have one at the moment? I had a disagreement with my last employer. I agreed to part ways. Hmm. Let me think about it. Leave your details. I'll give you a call. Thanks. You won't regret it. What are you doing here? Just came to ask about the jobs that were advertised. Wait. How do you know my wife? He helped me out with that flat tyre this morning. He's the fellow I told you about. Got picked off the barge, had to slim to the river bank. Oh yeah? Well you just told me you agreed to part ways with your last job. You sound a bit dishonest to me. Look, I know how it sounds, but that guy was a crook and I'm better off not being on the boats. Wasn't really my thing. But driving trucks, that big rig over there, that's my dream. I want to settle down, find some land and this place seems to have a nice vibe to it. Trust me, you won't regret it. He seems like a nice lad, honey. Give him a chance. 7am tomorrow. Don't be late. Thank you. And I promise, you won't regret this. Yeah, well, it will be the last job you have around here if you muck me around. Well, that was, uh, pretty fortunate. Manning Transportation, our new employer, so long as we don't go and muck up around here. Just about got caught out, but, uh, what are the chances that the lady I helped earlier was Mr. Manning's wife, Mrs. Manning? So, that probably came in to help me just a little bit. There you go, doing a good deed. Can come back and reward you later on so we've uh, got a little bit of time to kill for the rest of the day we're gonna go and find somewhere to stay tonight and sort ourselves out we need to be down here by 7 a.m sharp in the morning we don't want to be late we need to make a good impression here or else i feel mr manning might be a bit of a tough taskmaster let's find out we'll uh, go down back down here hopefully we can find some accommodation there was the hotel but i don't know if we can afford to stay there we'll uh, go and see there might be a caravan park or something like that we can stay at. We'll go and find somewhere, I'm sure. Well, we've managed to find ourselves somewhere to stay. We uh, stopped in at the strip mall at one of the food places, grabbed a bite to eat, and uh, someone suggested heading down here past the fire station. There was a little bit of a lodge type accommodation just past here. Looks like it just over there on the left behind the John Deere billboard. And they said they had some rooms, or should have some rooms. It looks pretty full. I see it. Half a dozen cars parked out front. Hopefully they've got somewhere for us to stay. Go and beat this guy over, he might be going to go and take our spot. Let's go over and find out and see if we can get ourselves a room. Perfect. Alright, we're sorted. 100 bucks a night, so I don't want to stay here for too long. We're going to have to find something a little bit more permanent. But I think we're in the third unit around the back, down here on the left. There's uh, one, two, that one there. Probably this one in here, I think. That looks like us. Alright, well this is home. I'm going to go rest up, make sure I have a good sleep. We'll have to go and sort out some food, but I'm not going to bother dragging you through all of that. We're, uh, we're just going to go have a rest, and we'll hopefully catch you in the morning, bright and early, before the sun's up, so we can get down there and uh, make a good impression for Mr. Manning. So we'll catch you in the morning. Oh no, I've slipped in. What's the time? 6.50. Oh no, I'm not going to make it. I've got 10 minutes to get down there. Oh, Mr. Manning won't let me forget this. Quick. Right, I'm out of here. Let's go. Oh, I can't believe I've slept in. I don't know if I'm going to make it down here or not. It is such a long way. I need to check traffic. Nothing coming. Let's keep going. I wonder if we could hitch. Oh, I don't know. This is going to be tight. I can't be late. This will be a terrible first impression. Not even going to check that one. Let's keep going. Oh, I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. <sighs> 659. I've made it. Oh, oh goodness. Oh, I knew he'd be standing there waiting. You're late. So our traveller finds himself in a new town, with hope of a new job. Let's just hope he hasn't stuffed it up already. Until next time. <laughs>